Hey guys, make sure to stand to the end. If you make one common mistake, you may spend hundreds, even thousands of dollars on repairs, parts, diagnostics that you don't need. Make sure to stand to the end. We will explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a Chevy Silverado that generation here from year 2006 to year 2013. If you guys have one of those, if you need to find where the fuse for the interior light is located, it's actually two fuses that you need to check where you can find them, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste your money and time and why it's important to always test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure you stay until the end so before we start let me tell you a little bit about us guys if you have a chevy silverado that generation that's the second generation from year 2006 to year 2013 we'll be making a video about every single fuse relay why because if you're in the middle of nowhere you're down the road you need to find a fuse for fuel pump ignition immobilizer parktronic anything like that all we have to do, watch that video, spend less than a minute or two, find it, fix your problem, you're back on the road. Because most people will lose their manuals or it will not be clearly specified in the manuals. Some fuses have multiple functions. So we'll be having more than probably 150 to 200 free repair videos on that. We guys make video constantly here at the garage. We take things apart, engines, transmissions, bodywork, a little bit of everything. And we have more than 12,000 free repair videos on our channel that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs please check it out in addition guys if you need to buy any parts tools special fuses anything like that at a really good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money and time we'll share the links in the description of the video below so let's start on it now so the interior lights fuse where you can expect to find it guys two fuses that you need to check we will demonstrate on this 2009 model chevy silverado right here you have three different fuse boxes in that track today we're working just one but we need to check two fuses open the driver door once you do that on the dash on the side you have a cover go ahead open that cover underneath it you will find a fuse box with a layout that will look just like this one right here now before we continue guys let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below for the interior lights we need to check practically guys two fuses starting this way fuse numbers don't make any sense one two three four five okay this fuse here will need to be checked for the interior lights fuse number 15 then you go fuse number 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17. fuse number 17 is the second fuse that you need to check for the interior light so 17 and 5 if you have problems with interior lights hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you guys next time